Digital photography is such a huge part of our lives that in order for Linux to be able to fit, it's got to be able to support our digital photos and editing. So we finally got GIMP downloaded. We better have a look at it. So let me call up a photo here. I think you're going to be surprised by how similar GIMP looks to Photoshop and how similarly it acts when we're actually using the application itself. So here's one of my favorite photos, a photo I took years back while fishing of dolphins running up the sound with us. Now if I was going to use this photo for a brochure or something, I'll have to do some image correction to, to get it ready. And one of the things I might need to do is get rid of the logo on the boat. So if I zoom in here, choosing the magnifying glass tool, we can see that we've got a, a logo on the boat. If you're using this for a brochure for promotional purposes, you probably don't want a company name. So we go back into the tools palette here, select the eyedropper tool, select the color of the hull, go back into the tools menu. I'm going to choose the airbrush tool and I can adjust take different size brushes, but this big brush will work for this example here. And then I can airbrush out the logo. And once I've done that, I can zoom back out and see that it's probably done, and indeed it's done, a good job of removing the logo from that boat. Now, as a matter of fact, this is such a good editor that here in our TV studio, there are several workstations that use GIMP as the photo editing package for on-air graphics. So it's a nice, full-featured graphics editor, which is amazingly free. But as I was preparing this and spending a little bit of time with GIMP, I realized that in the Mac and Windows world, I actually don't use or need Photoshop anymore. What I do use and need is Photoshop Elements and Windows and iPhoto on the Mac. Think about what I do with my photos. Same thing you probably do. I correct brightness, contrast, red eye. I organize them, and that's about it. So I set about looking for similar, more practical applications in Linux to do the same thing. And like a bolt out of the blue, it hit me. It all started when I was just in the pictures folder and I clicked on one of my photos. When I clicked on the photo, it opened an application called Show Photo, which is part of the K desktop environment, which is a very simple photo editor. And as I looked at the menus, it does most of the things I want. And it was already installed in Mepis. If I go under the Fix menu, I see that it does things like red eye reduction. It'll do things like adjust the colors, the brightness. It will auto correct and color balance my photos for me. So as far as most of my image manipulation, this simple little show photo application will do it. So I thought, okay, what about organization? So instead of going on a long search, I went back into the menu, which I probably should have done in the first place, looked under the graphics tab, and there I found photo management, an application called Digicam. So when I open Digicam, which I have open here, we see that it is a nice library application that allows me to create albums of photos and I can add tags to those photos, structure the photos and organize the photos. So it basically covers off all of the other things that I would want to do in Photoshop albums. So in Linux, my digital photography life is pretty much the equal of Windows or Macintosh with a few small caveats. So now we're on the home stretch. So far we've checked off our basic necessities. We have compatibility, we have internet access, we have office and our digital photography needs. And last but not least, we're going to need to add a printer. But first up, it's Caroline with this week's Tech Toy.